You're learning with 9 to 5 English. Business English for the workplace. Hi, Tim here with another 9 to 5 English lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to talk about likes and preferences. Talking about things we like is something we do all the time, whether you're in a meeting, a casual conversation, or just having lunch. There's always a chance to talk about what you like. And sometimes talking about what you like means talking about a preference. By preference, I mean liking one thing more than something else. For example, Maybe you want to say, you think Sony is better than LG. How can you do that? Well, one way is to just say you prefer Sony to LG. You could also say you're more into Sony or that you'd take a Sony over an LG. But what if you're talking about doing things? Say you prefer talking to customers instead of sending them emails. In this case, you can say, You would rather talk with customers than send them emails. Let's practice using these expressions for talking about preferences. Listen to each example, then repeat it yourself. Ready? Let's get started. I'd much rather live in Seattle than Boston. I'm more into French food than Italian. I prefer magazines to books. I'd take an iPhone over an Android phone any day. So, we've practiced different ways of talking about a preference. But what if you're not comparing? I mean, what if you're having a conversation about cars, for example, and you just want to say that you like Toyotas? Well, the easy way is just to say, I like Toyotas. But rather than just using the verb like, you can use adjectives such as keen on, or partial to, or fond of. And don't forget which preposition goes with which adjective. You can say you're keen on Toyotas, but not that you're fond on Toyotas. Let's have a little practice using these expressions to talk about things you like. Once again, repeat the examples after you hear them. I'm quite keen on the new Samsung monitors. I'm partial to European wine. I'm fond of travel and exploring new places. The Times is one of my favorite newspapers. As you heard, we can also use one of my favorites to talk about likes. And that's another example of a group of words that you use to express an idea, just like keen on or partial to. One of the tricks to learning natural English is remembering word combinations like this. All right. So we practiced talking about what you like. But what about things you really like? In other words, 
What about things you love? For starters, you can use that word, love, or even say that there's nothing you love more. You might also say, you can't get enough of something, or that you're a huge fan of something. Once again, you might notice these are combinations of words, and you need to remember and practice the entire expression. So, let's give this a try. Remember to repeat each example. I really love what the marketing department has done. I can't get enough of Thai food. I'm a huge fan of the new Nike ads. There's nothing I love more than a weekend by the sea. As you can hear, we can use love for all sorts of things, not just people. And in a later lesson, we'll have a look at the opposite feeling as well, things you hate. So, how does all this sound in real life? Let's listen to a short dialogue between two colleagues. One of them wants to know about where the other person is planning to rent an office. So, are you thinking of renting a new office in London? No, I'd much rather be somewhere quieter. Oh, yeah? Any place in particular? Well, I'm a huge fan of Cambridge. Did you hear how that worked? The second person said that he would much rather be somewhere more quiet than London. And when asked about what city might be preferable, he said he's a huge fan of Cambridge. Not too difficult, right? Now, it's your turn to practice. We'll repeat the dialogue, but this time, we're going to beep out the second speaker's words. You will have to say those parts yourself. Remember to start by saying where you would rather work. Then say the name of the place where you'd really like to have your office. Here we go. So, are you thinking of renting a new office in London? Oh, yeah? Any place in particular? All right, so we've learned some great ways to talk about preferences, as well as things you like and love. In our next lesson, we'll talk about the opposite, things you dislike or hate. Until then, so long and happy learning.